Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the content aware fill tool in Adobe Photoshop 2022. So let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop. I've got these two images. I downloaded them from Unsplash. So I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. If we go ahead and open up Photoshop 2022, we're going to drag this first image into Photoshop and we're going to use the quick uh, selection. In fact, we'll use the lasso tool. Lasso tool is better. So we're going to click on the lasso tool here and we're going to draw around this guy to create a selection. So let's just draw around him like this. Try and get as close to him as possible, but don't sort of you know go over his arms or his clothes or his face or anything like that you draw a selection around him and then go to edit go to content aware fill and then photoshop will do its magic and the guy is gone you can play around with these settings to see what they're doing if they can improve um the actual uh image in here but it's done a pretty good job right it's not perfect but it's done a pretty good job so you can go to color adaption you can set these to different values and you can see how that's going to affect your picture whether it improves it or you know pretty much leaves it as um as default so in here if you set color adaption to none you can clearly see a line going down here but as you start to play around with the settings you should be able to kind of get a better um merging of the image and the colors between them right between the different scenes so i think the high color adaption is pretty good um most of these other settings i leave pretty much as default the output to new layer that's quite important you want to output it to a new layer so we'll go ahead and click OK, and that guy's been removed. So now we can go to Select, Deselect, and then if you want to go and touch things up, like here, you can kind of see in the mountain, we could probably draw a little paint, a little bit of the mountain back in here. So to do that, you could click on the background, and you could hide this top layer. You can see the guy behind it, right? So Photoshop's guessed what that mountain might look like right there, and um, you can go ahead and click on the background layer. In fact, you can enable the top layer, uh, sorry, disable the top layer click on the background and then go to the stamp tool and we're on the background so we can clone from the background so in here we'll select something like the round soft and we'll set the size a little bit higher to something like 36 and we've got our little paintbrush here so now we can click on the background hold down the alt key and we can grab some of this mountain over here so we can click around say around here hold down alt key left click so that will be where our selection is now we can click on the top layer enable it and then you can go ahead and use that paintbrush to paint in some of this mountain into the background if you want to paint it in um, to make it look a bit better. So now it kind of looks like that mountain is finished off rather than just being a straight line in the picture. So you can go around and play around with that. Obviously, that's just a little example of using the clone tool. And you need to go and experiment and make it a bit more accurate. And you can go and fix little artifacts like down here. They're really hard to see, but like things like this, you can use the clone tool to fix using that same method, right? But overall, it's done a pretty good job. I think it's done a pretty good job. So let's go ahead and close this one. And let's try to try one more image. So we'll go ahead and drag this one into Photoshop. And we have to be a bit sensible about what Photoshop can uh, remove and what it can, you know, what the content of will field can do. So things like these little lights in the ceiling, if you want to get rid of them, you could use the content of will field. So you can click on the lasso tool. You can draw around that little light there, for example, and go to edit, go to content of will field. And let's see, let's just undo that. I did that wrong. Let's do this selection first. Then go to edit content aware fill and then just go ahead and click OK and then that's gone right and it's created it on a new layer so you can do select deselect and then that light has gone obviously you could just use the paintbrush tool or the clone tool to do that similar job but you know that's a, that's a process this is just a draw around a circle and it's job done let's go ahead and zoom in onto this picture into the background here and we'll click on the background layer and we'll click on the lasso tool and let's just draw around this object let's try and remove this one as well and here we go we'll select around it and then go to edit content aware fill and then you can see the the result in the screen here we'll click ok and then that one's gone as well and we can just press ctrl and d to deselect everything and we've removed uh, in this picture we remove one of the lights and we remove that vase in the background there so things like this table you can't really use content aware feel because there's nothing that photoshop can kind of work out what to replace it with right in the when, when you remove it so it has to be simple objects not necessarily simple ones because you can see the guy in the previous um, uh, image was you know the background was quite complex so it did quite a good job 
but where you've got things like uh, a lot of things busy in the background, that's where it can get a bit difficult for Photoshop to guess how to remove that content. So you can remove the TV, for example, it should do, it should do a pretty good job to do that. Uh, but with stuff like the TV, maybe use the clone tool to, to just paint over it. And then you can use the clone tool to take some of this marble and paint the marble back in uh, to make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. That's the end of this tutorial showing you how to use the content aware fill in adobe photoshop 2022 i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial